Good afternoon, dear students. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our virtual classroom at an English lesson. Today, with you are Olga and Anastasia. So let's start our lesson and let's hope that we'll have productive and interesting work together. Today, we are going to study the indefinite and continuous passive voice constructions and practice their usage in context. Let's see what is passive voice. So passive voice focuses on the action rather than on the doer. Let's see in the example. My bike was stolen. Passive voice is used frequently. Okay, we know what passive voice is, but when do we use it? So the first situation when we use passive voice is when the subject or the doer is unknown or not important for us. Look at the example. The room is cleaned every day. Another situation when we use passive voice is when the doer or the subject of the sentence is obvious. It's obvious who does the action. We know that because this action is performed by the same person. Fresh bread is sold at the baker's. Okay, we know what it is. We know how to use, but let's see how to form it. So, passive voice is formed with the help of the appropriate form of the verb to be plus past participle with the ending ed or the third form of the irregular verbs. Let's see in this scheme. So, first of all, we have subject plus to be that should be conjugated plus past participle and of course the rest of the sentence. One of the main things that we have to remember when transforming the active sentence into a passive construction is that the object becomes the subject of the sentence. That is, the object of the active sentence becomes the subject of the passive construction. Let's look at the following example. He is reading an interesting book. The following sentence in the active voice will be transport, transformed in this following way. So, the object, an interesting book, will become the subject of the passive voice construction. An interesting book is being read by him. Look at the following skip. Leslie took this photograph yesterday was transformed into this photograph was taken by Leslie yesterday. If you look attentively, you'll see that the subject of the active sentence has become the agent of the passive one. The verb was transformed from its active into its passive form. And this photograph, which was the object of the active voice construction, has become the subject of the passive one. So, now we propose you to study each passive tense separately. Let's start with present simple or present indefinite. So, remember that present simple and passive voice is formed with the help of is, are, that is to be, plus past participle with the ending ed or the third form of the irregular verb. Let's see. We have active voice. I make a cake, present simple. So let's see how it can be transformed into a passive one. The cake, this is the subject, is made by me. So we have present simple in passive voice. Another grammar tense is present continuous or which is also called present progressive tense. How do we form it in passive voice? We use the verb to be in its present form, that is, is or are, plus being, plus the past participle of the meaningful verb, that is, the ed ending of the regular verb, or the third column of the irregular ones. Let's see an example. I'm cooking breakfast is the active voice sentence. In the passive voice, it's being transformed this way. Breakfast is being cooked by me. Okay, next one is past simple. So let's see how we use past simple in passive voice. So, of course, we have the verb to be. 
In past simple we have was and where plus past participle with the meaningful verb with the ending ed or the third column of the irregular verb. Let's see in the example. Active voice. Rita wrote a letter. Wrote is in the past simple. Let's see in the impassive voice what we have. A letter was written by Rita. Good. Ready to see how we transform the past continuous in its passive construction? Good. So, we form the past continuous passive voice with the usage of the verb to be in its past form, that is was or were, plus being, plus the past participle of the verb, that is the ed ending of the regular ones and the third column of the irregulars. Let's see it in an example. In the active voice, the sentence sounds like this. We were listening to the teacher. How do we transform it into passive voice? The teacher was being listened to by us. Okay, great. Future simple. Let's see how we can use it in passive voice. Of course, we have will plus be plus past participle of the meaningful verb with the ending ed and, of course, the third form of the irregular verb. Let's see in the following example. Active voice. They will clean the house. How it can be transformed into a passive one? Let's see. The house will be cleaned by them. In the following scheme, we are going to analyze the change from the active into the passive voice of the following grammar tenses. Present simple, present continuous, past simple, past continuous and future simple. So let's see. The active present simple sentence, I do it, will be transformed into passive this way. It is done. The active present continuous will be I'm doing, which will change into it is being done. Past simple active voice, I did it, will be changed into passive voice into it was done. Past continuous active I was doing it will sound this way in its passive voice construction. It was being done. And the last one for today, I will do it. The future simple active construction changes into its passive form. It will be done. Okay, great. Now we propose you to work together. So let's see how an active voice can be changed or transformed into a passive one. Let's see the following examples. They speak English and French at this hotel. So, this is present simple in passive voice. Tell me, please, how it will be in passive one. Okay, so let's change the places of some words. And what are they? English and French are spoken at this hotel. So, this is present in passive voice. Next sentence will be the following. The little boy broke the window last week. Yes, this is past simple. Let's see how we can transform into a passive one. The window was broken by the little boy last week. So, you can observe the changes in these sentences. The secretary will type the document. OK, this is future simple. Let's see what we have in passive voice of future. The document will be typed by the secretary. What? The document. OK, this is future simple in passive voice. Great job! We know that passive voice is not one of the easiest grammar topics from the English language, but step by step you are going to master its rules. And now it's time for you to practice what you have learned. Your task is to change the given active voice sentence from its structure in active into passive one. So, the first sentence. Picasso painted this picture. 
This is the active of what grammar tense? Right, past simple. Please be very attentive. Take your pen or pencil and transform it into a from active into passive. Pause and rewrite. Ready? Let's check. Picasso painted this picture has been changed into this picture was painted by Picasso. Example number two. They publish books every week. This is an active voice. And we have present simple. Let's see how this sentence can be changed into a passive one. Pause and write the correct sentence. Ready? Let's check. So books are published every week by them. Great. Good. Let's proceed to a different example. Lucy is buying a newspaper at the moment. You're perfectly right. The sentence is in present continuous or present progressive. But how do we transform it into its passive voice construction? Please pause and rewrite the passive construction of the following sentence. Are you done? Let's see. A newspaper is being bought by Lucy at the moment. If you have written the sentence this way, then you already know the usage of the passive voice construction. Next one, we have active voice again. Julie will open the window when she comes home. Okay, pause and transform or change the sentence using passive voice and the rule that you already know. Okay, ready? Let's check. So, in passive voice will be the following. The window will be opened by Jolly when she comes home. Do you have the same answer? Great job! Are you sure that you have understood the topic really well? If yes, then let's try. In the following task, we are giving you five sentences in their active voice structure. Your task will be to rewrite them into their passive ones without our help. And by the end of the exercise, you will have the time to check it together with us. So let's see the sentences. Somebody stole the car. My grandfather builds a new house. We will finish the project next week. They are taking pictures in the park. The audience was not listening to the speaker. Please mind and be very attentive about the tense the grammar tense in the, in the sentence and how it is changed into its passive construction. Pause, take your pens and rewrite the sentences into passive voice. Ready? Let's check together. So, let's see the answers. The car was stolen. A new house is built by my grandfather. The project will be finished next week by us. Pictures are being taken in the park by them. The speaker wasn't being listened to by the audience. Do you have the same answers? Great students! Wonderful! You are great students and we think that now you will be able to use the passive construction, which is a difficult one, we know, in your daily life, in your fluent English speech. And throughout the lesson, we have managed to study and to practice passive voice structures, and now we are absolutely sure that you know how to use it in your daily life. Have a good day, goodbye, and see you next time in our virtual classroom of English. Goodbye!